Oh, there you go. Can we get a Did you get it? The final is landing. You don't know James. He's not too, too late. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't worry. One, two, three. Should I be nervous? Mm. Okay, just making sure. Nope. What you say? I never done this. Should I be nervous? No. <laughs> I thought you did last. You didn't do last year? Here, I, I'm going to need one real quick and then I'll pass it over to you guys. They're going to ask me open statement. You can just open it up with your statement and then we'll ask you a couple questions. Yep. Uh, really part, uh, proud of our, our group here, uh, especially the two. Uh, young ladies that's sitting to my right and left. Uh, it started with with their energy and their presence out on the floor. Um, anytime you can get 16 out of uh, 27 from the field from these guys, and I mean, uh, they own the paint tonight, and that helped our team out tremendously. I do want to say I, I am extremely proud of our point guard uh, Alexia Debose uh, in terms of you know one turnover in 25 minutes and just running our basketball team. This is a great effort for our team. I, I thought. Um, uh, uh, Pine Bluff made some runs, and we were able to capitalize back on them and um, win the game and close it out. So, uh, good job to both of these young ladies. Thanks. Coach, if you can just talk about expound on that. Uh, being able to get to not have turnovers that our uh, team was on at a the disruption. This is uh, late in the season. Is what you look forward to. You know, it's, it's, as they say, get moving in the postseason and get better and better. Definitely, you got to value the basketball, uh, and and for us to look at the stat sheet and say we got 15 turnovers, that's huge for us because uh, uh, during the regular season we we really struggled in that category. So we we took care of the ball and we we got a lead and we were able to sustain that lead, and that was just eating the clock, executing, passing the ball. Um, at, I know I went off on them a couple times and just getting them to understand that we didn't need any quick shots at that time, that we had the advantage and they had to come at us. So I thought for the most part we did a pretty good job of that. Talk about uh, the last minute or so of the game when, like you mentioned, you know, sustaining the lead and trying to hold on to it and not making bad decisions. What goes, what goes through your mind when, you, when, when the timeout is called? And, uh, not when you wanted to, but you, you have to, to kind of make, make them uh, right. understand that uh, we, we can finish this game. Well, well, players are in the moment, so they're just playing possession by possession. But as far as, you know, coaches and my coaching staff, you know, we, we got to think ahead of the game. And so I, I mentioned to our kids uh, just the fact that I, I told them, hey, if we get the ball, let's try to advance it to get that ball uh, across half court. And we didn't have to uh, use it. But uh, just thinking of those things outside the box will help our team. And that's what we tried to do uh, tonight and, and, and just trying to be smart and play the keep away game and let them come follow us. And they didn't come follow us. Uh, so we were able to eat the clock. Either one of the players, talk about what it's been like to, to get to this far. Postseason plays, you got to qualify for the tournament, you know, to and move forward. Regular season is regular season. Now it's a new start, and no matter if something may happen, surprise, whatever, and you may get your shot, but you got to keep playing. Either one. Just talk about what um. <clears throat> Um, well, it's been it's been kind of tough during regular season, and um, you know, coach embedded in our heads that this is this is a new season. It's it's zero zero. Anything can happen in SWAC tournament. So um, we've had you know we've had our losses, 
we had a few wins, but when we came to play, um, when we came to play today, we just gave Coach Rao. Um, to piggyback on what Brooke said, like it's been a tough season, and at the end of the day, it's right now the tournament is a new season. It's zero zero everybody, so we just got to come out ready to play every day, and anything can happen if we just leave everything on the court every game. So, three, are, are you looking forward forward to who you play next? So it's, it's just the next game is on the on the schedule. Yeah, definitely. Um, I don't know if we we've, we've actually put forth our best effort against Alabama State, and Alabama State is is a, is a very good team. Okay, uh, and I, I'm gonna say this and put this out here and put the pressure on on, my, on these guys right here. They got to be able to try to produce that same performance that they produced tonight, uh, because Alabama State has two phenomenal post players too that that scores a lot for their basketball team and then they are the leaders of the team and, and they're seniors for the most part so it's going to be really interesting to see how this plays itself out um we can't uh be tired we just got to keep pushing and move forth in this and keep fighting uh one advantage we have we we know what the rims feel like right now we play we got that out of our system so really at this point we have nothing to lose we have absolutely nothing to lose we're going to just play and leave everything out on the floor Thank you for your time. Mm -hmm. okay. Good job, guys. <laughs>
Well, if you got the freshman of the year uh, alongside of you, and she, she says that you guys will be back, talk about building, um, building off of what you have here uh, in terms of uh, your newcomer. Well, like I told the, uh, the kids in the dressing room today, it's, it's, it's our job to, to put some good kids around these two young ladies right here. Uh, Recruiting is going to be very important for us right now. We have some good people that we think we're going to get to come to UAPB. Because, you know, right now we, we're, at, we're at the bottom. We, we don't look to be there that way next year. We look to be competing for, actually competing for a championship next year uh, with the kids that we have returning and some of the kids that we are looking for uh, to come to UAPB. Um, I'm, I'm excited, to be honest with you. I'm excited about the opportunity to, uh, to, to be able to coach these two young ladies. And uh, I'm challenging them to, to uh, over the summer, are you going to come back uh, uh, focused in better shape? And, uh, and how are you feeling now? This, 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 I think it's important the way you feel right now. You, do you want to have that feeling again next year? And, and I think that means a lot. You know, you have to learn from your experiences. And uh, this is a great experience for them to, to, to get put out. And uh, you know, in the first round, uh, how are you going to respond to that? Uh, and I think they're going to respond in a positive way. And uh, it's just uh, we got to do our job as coaches too. We got to surround them with better players, and I, I think that was part of our problem. We're not deep enough in certain areas to be to to be able to do what we had to do tonight, and that's press a lot. And and, and I like to press. I like to play fast, and uh, and I hadn't equipped them the way that they need to be equipped to be able to do those things. So hopefully we'll be able to do that in our recruiting process. Thank you, sir. Thank you, guys. All right. Thank you.